What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Reverse DL channel. Today we're going to clone a PSP game and install the Neo Geo emulator bubble on the PlayStation Vita. Now this works for all firmwares. So what do we need? We will need a PSP game demo or mini, PSV image tools at Silica's GitHub, QCMA, Hex Editor, Notepad++, the Neo Geo emulator, so check Twitter for an example. <laughs> As for the installation, we will transfer the PSP game to the PC and extract it with PSV image tools. Then we're going to change the param.sfo, betapass.txt, and rename the game folder. We're going to be using PSV image tools to sign and pack the game with the emulator inside it. So wait for the additional tips and example. Links will be in the description. Remember to check my Twitter, guys. Enjoy, gamers. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita system. We're going to launch our QCMA, or Content Manager. Just give it a moment. So we're going to select from the PS Vita system to the PC. Go to Applications. PSP Other. So as you can see, I have some clones, but my original one is 7840KB. So I'm going to copy the Alien Zombie Death to my PC. Remember, this is from the PlayStation Vita to the PC. Give it a moment. So if you have a low a PSP Mini with uh, not that heavy in size, it's way better. So as you can see, I have my Neo Geo emulator ready to go. I'll go ahead and leave uh, the example on Twitter. Just remember to go out there. So I'm going to show you guys how to create the cache for additional ROMs if you are able to find any additional ones. So we put the ROM inside the ROM folder. In this case, it's Metal Slug X. As you can see, I even put it in there. Now for the cache, all the files have been created. But we go to romconf burger folder, and then we're going to run the romconf underscore mvs.exe, and then we're going to go search for our rom. So we find Metal Slug X dot zip and we open. So it's gonna do some pretty cool thing. So it's gonna create the cache. As you can see, we gotta go to the PSP game, MBPSP cache. In this case, it's going to be in our cache folder. You're gonna see in a moment, it's just gonna be dropped in there automatically. But we're going to cut this information. We don't need it in there, we just need to transfer it to our cache folder. So we paste that new cache okay so now we have it in there so that's pretty cool so just remember you don't need it twice just take it out of there and put it in the cache folder now that we have everything ready with the emulator we're going to go to our documents PS Vita PS game, P game. Now you can see that my game is in there, the one I transferred from the PlayStation Vita. So I'm gonna run PSV image tools, select backup manager, on sign and extract, PlayStation Portable. I'm gonna select my profile. In this case, I'm using Gamers 3.60, the slim one, my slim PS Vita. I'm going to choose my game, which is Alien Zombie Death, ending in 0069. And I'm going to unsign and extract. And it's a small game, so it's just fairly quick. Okay, so we don't need PSV image tools for now. So we're going to go to Documents, PS Vita, Extracted. And you will have that extracted folder once you've installed uh, PSV image tools. So we go to P game, and then we have our game ending in 0069, which has been extracted. 
So now we're going to do the cloning. We go to the game, UXO, and we find our beta path dot text. And we're gonna open it with note plus plus. Now in this instance on my previous video, I only changed the last number, but I'm actually gonna change the front title also. So that I know when I have it on my PlayStation Vita, what game pertains to what. So just remember to do it all in caps. So I'm gonna put Neo and then Geo. And then just keep on deleting. Remember to keep the same characters or the same number of characters of the game ID. That way you don't have no problems. Now that I have Neo Geo 069, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and save this beta path.txt. So either you can press Ctrl S or File and Save. Okay, now that we have saved it, we can go ahead and double check it. You can see Neo Geo 069. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get ready my Neo Geo emulator for my next step. I'm gonna copy all those files. Now that I have it copied, I'm going to insert it in there. So it's gonna take a moment depending on how big the emulator is. So everything has to be transferred inside this folder. So now we go back and we go to SCE underscore SYS and we select it. Now we're going to edit the param.sfo. So we're going to launch our hex editor. Okay, so now and then we're going to drag that file within the hex editor. That's going to bring us this information. So we're going to go to the game ID and we're going to match it how we put it on the beta path dot text. So I'm gonna put Neo Geo and then you can see 069. Remember to not delete or backspace, just use your arrows and overwrite. So I'm gonna go to the title of the game and I'm going to put Neo G E. I mean you can rewrite the whole thing, but just to keep it simple, just try to use the first words. That way you can distinguish it within the PlayStation Vita. Just kind of maintenance on the cloning part so you don't get confused on what game you would need to delete if you need to add. So remember to save this, so Control S or File Save. So that's all we need to do, really simple. Now you're going to get a backup file. You don't need it anymore, so we can go ahead and delete this file. Okay, so basically we're ready. We have our game information with the emulator. Now we would need to rename the folder. You guys remember it was Neo Geo 069. So there we have it, Neo Geo 069. Now that the game is ready, we have everything ready to go. I just want to double check the Vita path. So as you can see, Neo Geo 069. If you guys forget what it is, you can go back in there and just bring it up so that you guys can rename that folder. It's really important to keep it matched. So remember that param.sfo needs to match, that way you don't have no errors. So you can see Neo Geo 069. Okay, so we're ready to go. We're going to launch our PSV image tools. So we go to Backup Manager, Sign and Pack, PlayStation Portable. Now I have the Neo Geo Zombie Death. So then we're going to sign and pack. And I'm going to choose my profile which is 3.60. And 
and then we choose a count. Now it's gonna take a bit longer because it's like around three and something gigs. So I just sped up the process here. So package complete, just refresh QCMA. So we don't need PSV image tools anymore. And we go to refresh our QCMA. So remember to refresh it twice, that database. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita and we launch Content Manager, copy content. We go to PC, to the PlayStation Vita system. We select Applications, PSP Other. As you can see, the title of the game now is Neo G Zombie Death. And it's 3.2 gigabytes. So we copy it to our console. It's kind of exciting. Sped up the process as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it out to see if it works. There we have our lovely bubble. Let's see, let's try it out. I'm excited for this. I love Neo Geo. So we launch our bubble or emulator bubble with the clone PSP game. There we have it. It launches. And let's try our game that we created the cache and we input it as a new ROM. Metal Slug X. We launch it as you can see, it launches perfectly. Cache file works. There we have it guys. This is amazing. You can input as many games as we want. Just remember to create that cache file and you should be fine. For the sound, it's pretty good. It's synced, it's a good emulator. Remember you, we need to have compatible emulators for the emulator bubbles. Which is pretty cool. Many people ask why do we do this? It's just basically to pimp out your PlayStation Vita. That's basically it. Just an easier way to access the emulator. Now let's try a different game. I, I really like this game as well. Some of these games I had to fix because they were not working. So, but all of them work. There's probably one in there that doesn't work. But I think it's pretty cool. So you can see SVC Chaos, if it's like the bootleg, it has all the characters unlocked, which is pretty cool. So guys, hopefully this helped, if you guys liked it, come to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, as always, Gamer Reverse, out.